Xavier back to the Sweet 16 for the third consecutive year, one of just two teams in the nation to do that. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be alongside MSG Network and Compass Media College basketball insider John Rothstein on your State Farm previews. Uh, and Xavier taking on Kansas State, who's back to the Sweet 16 for the first time in 22 years. And I want to start with the thought that the first-year head coach of the Musketeers said after the win on Sunday when they beat Pittsburgh, he's like, he was very angry with the fact that people are calling him a mid-major. Now, that doesn't have any relevance for this game, except maybe a little motivation. But people really have a really short memory when you think about what Xavier has accomplished or what Xavier's accomplished the last couple of years. Two years ago, this team loses to UCLA in the Elite Eight. Last year, they take Pitt to the wire in the Sweet 16. They are perennially very tough program in college basketball. Like I've said before, it's not an oversight. It's an insult. It, it is, and they're, you know, whether they're one of the five mid-majors, the record that's here in the Sweet 16, that's completely up to you, but technically by the way people are saying it, they are. They're going up against a very good Kansas State team, and in this game, it's going to feature two of the premier scoring guards of the nation in Jordan Crawford and Jacob Pullen, but also two of the best defensive guards of the nation as well. And one thing I really like about Kansas State's backcourt is when they come at you, you can tell there is an enormous chip on their shoulders. They don't feel that when the best backcourts in the country are discussed, they're in the conversation. And when you think about what these two players have done, Pullen and Clemente, they have taken this team and this program, Kansas State, from a program that was synonymous with Michael Beasley, Bill Walker, and nothing else a couple years ago, to a team right now that is mentioned with some of the best programs in college basketball. You talked about Pullen and Clemente, the backcourt for Kansas State. Now, Denny Clemente, the point guard, used to play for Miami. Uh, he's been getting some press this season because of what he did in the Big 12. Terrell Holloway has not been getting the same publicity in the Atlantic 10. The matchup of the point guards, how crucial is that in this specific ball game? It's really crucial because whoever is able to manufacture more baskets out of the backcourt will most likely win this basketball game. But the big thing I like about Dennis Clemente, his defensive prowess. He is by far the best defensive guard in this basketball game, and he is going to be able to generate turnovers by pressuring Xavier so much in the backcourt. Having said that, though, Xavier's biggest issue all season has been in the interior. Able to handle themselves fine against Pittsburgh. How big of a problem is it against Kansas State? It's a real problem because Kansas State is the number one rebounding team in America. And you look at them across the baseline, they are not a team filled with bruisers or burly people on the interior. They come at you with length and they come at you with athleticism. And they go by committee. One time it's Dominique Sutton. One time it's Rodney Magruder. One time it's Jamar Samuels. And another time it could be Wally Judge, a McDonald's All-American who seems to be getting better and better each time he steps on the floor. And let's also not forget about Curtis Kelly and the way yep. that he can play as well. Hasn't had the best tournament so far, but he can play uh, pretty well in there as well. All right, John, you said to me beforehand that Kansas State equals 2006. What does that mean? Well, in 2006, Billy Donovan and the Florida Gators were a team that nobody was really talking about entering the NCAA tournament, and they came out of nowhere to win a national championship. When you look at the teams in bold print on this year's NCAA tournament bracket, nobody talked about Kansas State as a potential threat to cut the nets down but the way they're playing the balance they have on both sides of the floor you better believe that there's a lot of similarities between the team Frank Martin coaches right now and the one that Billy Donovan had in 2006. So it sounds like you're taking the Wildcats to get to the Elite Eight. You know it. All right we'll see how it all plays out. They haven't been there since losing to Danny Manning in the Miracles in 1988. We'll see what happens uh, here in this ball game Thursday night from Salt Lake City. For John Rostein, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care folks.